In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to connect a PlayStation 5 controller to Windows 7. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm gonna show you two main options in which you will be able to connect and use your PlayStation 5 controller on a Windows 7 PC. Now, you will be able to do this through one of two methods. You can either run the game that you want to play with the DualSense controller through Steam, and I'm going to explain why this works, or alternatively, you can download a tool available on a certain website. So first, if you just want to use the Steam method, if you already own the game that you want to play through Steam, then you will be good to go. But if the game that you want to play using the DualSense controller is not here, just click the option to add a game, add a non-Steam game, and browse to your computer until you find the game that you wish to add. Select the executable file and make sure that it is available on Steam. Now, once the game is here, just right-click it, go over to Properties, and then select Controller. On the Controller Properties, you just need to make sure that Steam Input is enabled. Steam Input is a feature integrated into the Steam Launcher that automatically sets up any controllers that you connect to your PC, including the DualSense controller. So by doing this process, it is going to get recognized and set up for you. You can also go into the controller configurator and change some options. You will notice that I am using a generic Xbox controller. I apologize, but don't worry. This process is still the same. I'm only using it for demonstration purposes. Regardless, once this is done and you have it connected, just make sure that you click play on Steam and that you run the game through Steam itself. The other option that you have is to download this tool, DS4 or DS5 Windows. Keep in mind that this isn't really necessary. As long as you do it through Steam, you should already be good to go. But if you do want to download this tool, maybe because it isn't working or you just want an extra layer of options, then just go over to this website, click download, and you will be able to download and set up DS4 or DualShock 4 Windows. And through this tool, you will be able to set up your controller and get it working. You will be able to map everything, so when you open it up, you will have DS4 Windows. Keep in mind that you should extract this somewhere, and after you do, inside of the tool itself, you will get instructions on how to download the drivers and get going. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect PlayStation 5 controller to Windows 7. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.